what it do, what it do, positive vibes, productivity, self-accountability, and all that amazing stuff. So today I wanted to talk about being mentally strong, being mentally, emotionally strong, and the great impact it will have directly in your life. It will change your whole perception of yourself. See, a lot of us live life hollow inside. We have a lot of self esteem issues. We have a lot of self doubt issues. We have a lot of things that we do not want to uh, directly challenge within ourselves. So what we do, we put band-aids on things. Speaking always from my own experiences, that's the reason why I can be so transparent to be a blessing to someone. We put band-aids on things. We try to find things to fulfill these voids or this emptiness, these empty spaces within us. But those things don't work. They'll work briefly because you get a, a, a brief high or a brief rush or the body will release endorphins and you will feel some level of serenity. But that's temporary because it's not real. OK, the only thing that's going to change your perception of yourself is you fixing what's damaged inside you. And guess what? You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I don't care how low you believe you are. You can rise all the way up to the top. I don't care how low you may see yourself. I don't care how negative people have been towards you. I don't care how damaging the situation may seem. You can fix yourself. In spite of all the criticism, in spite of all the judgment, in spite of all the you know, just the humiliation of being in a place where you're not even comfortable with yourself. See, that's one of the biggest things. You know, you feel humiliated when you're not sure of yourself, in yourself. You question yourself. Anytime you question yourself about things, that's a level of self-humiliation that you deal with. Silence, you know, in silence. You deal with that in silence. It's internal, you know, so... The thing that we have to do is adjust the channel. OK, I'm going to tell you again. First step to building confidence is you looking yourself in the mirror and telling yourself repetitively. I love myself. 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 I believe in myself. I believe in myself. I can improve myself. I can become a better version of myself. These things are impactful because what it does, it goes into your mind. You start to alter your mind. You understand? Because it's all mental. Low self-esteem, self-doubt, self-humiliation is here. It's how you see yourself. A lot of times we adopt people's words into our own energy. Manipulative people will tell you everything that you are not to secure themselves in your life. Manipulative people will tell you everything you are not to secure themselves dominating your life. Make the change today to be better for yourself. Because you deserve it. A person that lived with emotional, mental illness for more than three decades. Okay? If I can fix myself, you can fix yourself. Just be willing to be accountable to yourself. Just be willing to be honest to yourself. Just be willing to correct yourself in your bad choices. And remove the necessary people out of your life. Yes, you might have to let that person go. Yes, you may have to let that person go. Yes, you might have to end that relationship. Yes, you may have to end that friendship. Yes, you may have to just disconnect from people for a season. You have to do whatever you have to do to improve yourself and to make the changes to improve your life. Because the company you keep plays a very important part 
on the conversations that you talk about. If you're talking to someone that's always negative, how can they be positive? I'll wait for an answer. If you are talking to someone that's constantly negative, how can they overnight become something that they are incapable of doing, being positive? You go to this person, you tell them that this is your plan. This is what you're trying to do. This is what you're trying to implicate into your life. How do you think that that person can change their pattern? This was God's enlightenment to you. This is an individual journey, family. This is not a team thing. Start your process. Start your process. And guess what? When people start to see the change in you, either they're going to be motivated and captivated and innovated to get on board, or they're going to be totally the opposite. They're going to re- they're going to repel from you. They're going to reject you. However it goes is for your blessing. However that turn out is for your blessing because you are on your journey to greater. So I just wanted to implicate, implicate this to you guys on today. Start your journey to making your mind strongest as possible because this will propel you to the next level. It starts with a strong mind. Then it can turn into a strong body and overall everything that you deserve. My stuff, family. Peace.